What's up guys? Welcome back to my contest prep series for the Chicago Pro. We are really closing in on it. You're going to see this probably Thursday, Friday, but currently I'm four days out from the show. And uh, these past 20 weeks have really flown by and you know I always appreciate everything y'all have done to you know keep liking and subscribing and uh, leaving, leaving comments and all the support that you've given me throughout this prep. So. I'm really excited to head out to Chicago and showcase all the work that I've done. It's been an awesome prep. And for today, I'm just kind of wrapping up stuff here at home and to have some last things to take care of physique wise before we head out on the fly out tomorrow and, uh, and get to it. So today, I woke up right at 2.12. So today's gonna start my water taper. So I've been doing three gallons of water a day. I'm gonna taper it down to two gallons, then one and a half gallons, and one gallon and a half gallon uh, when I make weight. And so my diet will pretty much be the same for the most part. It's 50 grams of carbs, 300 grams of protein, and no fats, no direct fat sources, just to deplete me so I can actually make weight. Um, and sodium's gonna be kept pretty constant. So this is the, the plan for my peak week going, going into it here. Um, for today, I'm going to be hitting a little bit of arm, ab, calf training, nothing too intensive today. Usually I've been doing this push-pull leg split. The last week for peak week, I divided up and um, divided up the muscle groups and keep the reps a little bit higher just for safety. And uh, then we're going to get some massage work done. So it'll be four days out, help open everything up. Then also go to the chiropractor and get an adjustment done. Uh, last one before the show, make sure everything structurally and, and skeletal muscle wise is exactly where it should be. So take y'all through today and we'll uh, wrap it up here in San Antonio then we'll be headed out to the show. So for training day, what I did was take my arm volume that I've been doing on my push and pull days and just put it on today. So I did 10 sets for biceps, 10 sets for triceps. Pretty straightforward workout. I just did a superset of a easy bar attachment cable curl into a, a tricep push down, and I, I just I ran that for four sets, just uh, putting good effort forth. That's the idea for for these workouts. Is just you know put as much effort into your sets as possible. Um, I'm really flat today. Like I'm not getting very strong connection with the muscle and contractions and the there's just not a really a pump happening so just uh, put it all into it as much as I can um, so I did four sets uh, stay around 12 to 15 reps on those on that first superset then from then I, I moved on to a preacher curl machine and an overhead tricep extension so moved from two movements that really get a good connection like in the shortened state to two movements that just really stretch the muscle out in the lengthened state and on the preacher curl machine in the uh, in the overhead tricep extension same thing I did four work sets 12 15 reps a piece and then uh, to wrap it up I did uh, two sets of hammer curls dumbbell hammer curls hit my brachialis a little bit then moved into uh, just some body weight dips for two sets kept the reps pretty high on that and that that was really it for my arm, for arm volume I don't have a lot of arm volume in general it's a stronger body part so if y'all been following along like these push pull workouts it's a lot of like back and chest and shoulder work but arm work there's just not a lot there so it was a, a shorter workout today. Um, then I did uh, finished off with a superset of uh, for for abs. So I'll do hanging leg raises and a rope crunch. And just hit four sets there. Hit something where I hit kind of lower abs, something where I can hit my upper ab. And. And that wrapped up the workout. So now we're headed over to my massage therapist and she's gonna put some work in. Probably a lot around my hips and obliques. 
to really make sure I can I can pose and move through and uh, open up my legs really well. I've been pretty fatigued, so want to uh, try to get them to get some good recovery, and we'll see what she has to say about my all my bound up and beat up body. Before show, I get a lot of questions on when you should cut out massage work or what you should have done. And it really is dependent on your massage therapist. If someone's gonna go really hard, deep tissue, grasped in, um, for, for one, there's the neurological component of how fatiguing it is mentally. And if you're in such a dieted down state and you have to go and train afterwards, do cardio afterwards, the mental fatigue is, is draining to do so. so you, you need to be considerate of that. Um, Myra, the girl I use, she is very good at finding. You'll see she's always touching different spots and she's always looking for a different muscle tone. There should be a certain tone to the muscle. And she uses just enough force to create a neurological response to release those areas. And she'll slowly build in more pressure to open areas up. So for her, like, I know I can get a massage work done four days out and it only improves my look. Like my legs get more vascular, there's less water, less inflammation. Um, she's exceptional at what she does. So I can get a massage close to a show and I won't have any bruising or water retention or inflammation. And I, you know, it's for most, the most part, you don't want a massage to be doing that. Now like, Stuff that I would avoid probably two weeks out would definitely be cupping. And she does cupping and that, that will cause some, some local you know edema. But um, cupping before show, you still want the bruising on you, you don't want the extra water retention. She uses like a light rock blade. It's kind of like Graston, but not so heavy where it's gonna be bruising you. So um, that is another another tool like you wouldn't want to do, you know, maybe seven, 10 days out from a show. but purposes today was to just open up the areas that are really tight and for me what you saw is definitely like my what I've been having issues with is my my left side of my lower back and my left leg is externally rotated so my left glute is really tight my piriformis is really tight that's also the the quad that I injured in the past and it wasn't separating as much so she used a, a lot of her like the hypervolt and tools on that to really find those tight bands in it and loosen them up without breaking down like really causing a lot of inflammation so um, I feel great now um, I feel lighter and um, definitely the areas that were really tight or have, have released so we'll head over to the chiropractor since I'm, I'm so loose it'll be an easy adjustment and uh, get, get everything lined, lined up and be ready for stage all right guys, came back home, got all of our errands done for the day, so training's done, massage and chiropractic together, which was awesome. I, I feel really, really good. I've, I've never had them back to back like that, but it's definitely something I'll probably do in the future. Uh, everything feels a lot looser and I can get into poses easier, so we'll uh, finish packing up and gonna head out tomorrow. So I uh, just want to thank everyone again for, for watching this series and thanks to Animal for all the support and for us being able to put out this content to you and follow along the journey. And the journey is really where all the value for me lies. Like we always want an outcome. We always want to win a show and I'm, I'm going to try to win. And, uh, but you know, it's just one stop in the, in the journey along the way. And this, uh, this pro career, it, it's gonna take me for several years to keep going through. So uh, every prep I learn something and I try to value and cherish each one more and more and the people that are involved and the people that are supporting what I'm doing. So again, I just really appreciate it. Any comments or questions you have on this last week of prep for me, leave them below. And I'll be happy to answer for you guys. So we'll, uh, we'll hit the show and I'll, I'll make sure I'll let everyone know how it went.